exercise steadfast defender then so we're part of that broader nato exercise here off uh, portugal uh, we form the central carrier strike element to it uh, and we're involved in providing uh, air missions uh, in support of the broader strike missions uh, into the ranges in spain and portugal as well as offering aircraft to the broader um, strike group that forms part of the nato group um, whether that's helicopters in the anti-submarine uh, hunting role or in the surface role as well we've got 32 aircraft in the entire strike group here on board HMS Queen Elizabeth, I've got uh, a total of 28. That's 18 F-35B Lightnings, 10 from the United States Marine Corps, and eight from the UK, as well as 10 Merlin helicopters in varying roles from uh, my troop transporter, all the way through my airborne surveillance and control, and also my anti-submarine warfare hunting helicopter. More broadly in the strike group, I've also got the four Wildcat uh, attack helicopters, which we, uh, we use in the surface role. So it's important for NATO to uh, deliver these exercises because it's an absolute demonstration of our capability and our ability to integrate with our closest allies across NATO. Um, so you have to do that in exercises to have the confidence that everything works together seamlessly as we would hope and expect come a time of war or tension where we'd want to deliver the exercise.